What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in this video we tackle the question, what does int mean in Python? Well, without further ado, let's find out. What is up everybody? Like I mentioned in this video, we're going to tackle the question of what does int mean in Python? So a lot of times in your Python programming um, or you're trying to find an answer to a question or especially if you're beginning, you'll see things such as int, float, string, um, mostly actually you'll see str or int. But what does this mean? What does int mean? Essentially, int is just the way that is just the name for what's called an integer number um, or another way to put it is basically a whole number and anything it's basically anything from negative infinity to positive infinity um, just being whole numbers such as one five negative a billion negative a hundred um, those are all what are going to be called ints the thing that's interesting is with Python, Python, everything in Python is what's called an object. And what, what we can do with this int is say I have an int of five. And how do I know that's an int? How do I know five is an int? Well, one, I just told you. Um, but two, if I want to print it out, I can tell you the type by just saying type and then wrapping five around it. If I do that, you can get that that's an int. With this int, what is with int or int in Python, the function of int, what you can do is I can just say, we already know that's an int, so if I just do int of this, I mean, it doesn't really change it. And that again gives me an int. But what happens if this is a decimal point? What happens if five turns into 5.5? And we run this, well, now it's back to an int. But what does that return? What does that do other than if I just do int of 5.5, this tells us, well, that's just 5. But no, I passed in 5.5. Well, what int does is it'll essentially truncate everything from the decimal point and beyond, meaning that it'll just get rid of all this and leave you with this, 5. And that makes it an int because we're only keeping the whole number. And so another thing that's helpful is Python has this uh, thing called the interactive shell. And if you haven't checked out one of my previous videos, go ahead and check that where I talk about the difference between a shell and a script. Um, and essentially right now we're running a script. But if we type in our command line, if I type in Python, this will give me the interactive shell. Now what this allows me to do is use the handy help function. And I could have used it here too, but I just wanted to show this. In the sense that I can actually ask for help. And um, if I type help, it says, hey, use help for interactive help or use help of an object for help about that object. So if we want to know about an int, I can do help, int, and this just gives us everything. In the sense that int is um, a class that, if, if you don't know about classes, we'll talk more about that later here on this channel, but it's a class that inherits from object, basically just means an integer and it normally uses a base 10. This is used to convert a number or string to an integer or return zero if no arguments are given. If x is a number, it'll basically return this, meaning it'll give us the actual uh, number. I mean, for, for, for floating point numbers, this will just truncate towards zero, meaning it'll just cut off, like we saw, this dot five and give us just the regular five. And if it's a string, it'll convert it, and there's a bunch of different ways you can go about this, but essentially an int in Python just re represents an integer number, whole number, and that's essentially it. And this is just one of the main primitive types and one of the many data types that are within Python. So if this is providing you value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and so that we can learn more together more about you know the different questions that people have in Python. That's what I like doing. I like answering these questions. I do this, I do I do software development for a living. I enjoy it. I enjoy programming and I enjoy the Python programming language because of the many things that you can do. So Check out for all those new videos and all those questions that will be answered and by hitting that bell button once you subscribe so you guys get notified. And thank you again for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And without further ado, keep on programming.